We're going to start the process for the carcass. This is the sort of cabinet that goes under, underneath the uh, pick and place machine. This is an optional um, assembly, so uh, not everybody is going to be needing this. The first thing to do is uh, identify your parts that we're going to be using first. These are the, the sort of the, the, the drawers that we're going to put together, and this is the back. And you'll notice that there's three along there, and we want to make sure that we orient this correctly. Uh, we're going to take this part that has the pockets all the way across, and we're going to connect it to the piece that has these larger holes. These are crossed out holes in this configuration. We're going to need one and a half inch quarter inch screws and cross dowels. Okay, good. Now we're going to put the other piece, which is the the opposite piece for the for the pockets. So there should be the same width of material here on the top. Those are non-symmetrical. You won't be able to do it the other way around anyway. So. One and a half inch screw, we will need three of these. Okay, now we're going to take the other back piece, which has these larger holes all the way around it, and we're going to fasten it to these three holes here, using one and a half inch screws and cross dowels. Now we're going to take this smaller section, and this is not symmetrical, this is, um, this is a different uh, measurement than this is, so uh, we want to make sure we, do, we marry the same um, from one side to the other, because the other side will have also these, these holes. We want to make sure that they're matching and mirroring each other. This will also take three cross dowels and three one and a half inch screws. Okay, there is a decision that you can make on what would be the top and the bottom. This area right here is, a, is um, thinner than this part, this area right here. But these would be essentially drawers that are three quarters inch um, thick and they would be pocketed um, by a CNC or whatever. Also, over here, there's a, a lot of space which would fit, generally would fit reels, and this space right here would fit um, smaller reels or just uh, miscellaneous things. So the decision would be maybe making this the top or the bottom. And in my case, I'm going to go, go, ahead, going to go ahead and make this the, the top of the machine. I'm going to flip it over and put the bottom on now, and we'll put the, the shelving in uh, next, and then we'll put the top on. So you have these, this whole configuration. You want to make sure that you have it in orientation, that it's correct. And it looks like these two holes would, would marry these and those two there. During the making of the film, I didn't make holes for these, but your, 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 um, yours will. You'll have four more holes here where you'll have four more one and a half inch screws. Now we'll, we'll for this for this operation, we're going to need 
um, 10 one and, a half inch, one and a half inch screws and 10 cross dowels. I'm only using six because I don't have these holes made. I'm going to leave them loose because we still have the the shelf to put in. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we have now we have the shelves. The shelving is going to go in here. And actually, it's going to be a tight fit. And then on the sh on the front of the shelf is going to be a little bit of a, a lip. So the um, the reels don't fall out. So this is this lip is going to keep the reels inside. So we're going to go ahead and put this together with three. Uh, one and a half inch screws and three cross dowels, and we're going to do two sets of these. To install it, you'll need two. One and a half inch screws. Okay, now we're going to put this top on the carcass. This is the top where it has slightly larger holes, but it also has these quarter inch holes. The larger holes are where the um, screws actually stick out of the bottom of the machine, and that sort of keeps it in place. So we're going to use one and a half inch screws and cross dowels. There'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten, one and a half inch screws and cross dowels. The top piece that you that you will get will actually have a slot that's cut out on the top during this filming. Um, that just wasn't done. It's sort of a um, a misstep when it in the design. So when you get yours, you'll actually have the uh, top piece have it slotted out and the reels will be able to come down to this location. It can be cut or whatever at that point. We're going to go ahead on the next step. We're going to take a machine and set it on top.